The visual novel is a series of dialogue scenes, and each dialogue scene has several components within it. I next put all the properties that I needed for that decision box where it might change the storage line into a separate dialogue box class, and then I put that within the scene dialogue. One of the properties of the decision box class is a show. So if the show is true, the decision box will appear. I updated the documentation to illustrate the learning objectives and how they might be connected to a real world business application that you might build in the future with Flutter. These concepts like state management are very useful for large scale business applications. I then tested the bare bones application with four different storylines using three different decision box branches. The application seems to work fine. I next added the character graphics back in. I added the background location images in. I next added a dark rectangle behind the text box for contrast. I tested the persistent state in a number of different scenarios, including completely turning the application off. Although I ran into several problems, I eventually got it working to my satisfaction. I started to build out the storyline. Starting the app from a completely off state, I can return to the last scene that I was viewing. If you have an interest in learning these concepts by building an app like this, please either like the video or even better, leave a comment below and I'll think about making a set of tutorials and cover it step by step. The most important thing in learning Flutter is to have fun. Have a great day.